Welcome back. As the race to find a COVID-19 vaccine intensifies, one Canadian company is reporting some promising results from their latest clinical trials. To discuss their findings, I'm joined by Brian Ward, medical officer from the Quebec-based company Medicago. Good morning to you, Brian. Good morning. Uh, just a few days ago, we saw results released from phase one, and we should note phase one is very early on in, um, in, in the protocol here and what we're looking at. But let's, let's talk about some of these promising numbers and results. Uh, well, thank you for inviting us. Um, the, the results are, I think, quite promising. Um, with the, the dose and the adjuvant that we've chosen to move forward with, we have 100% response after the two doses. Um, and the neutralizing antibody responses um, are quite high, and the uh, cellular responses are exactly what we expected them to be. So um, we're actually quite encouraged by these results. So what does a phase one look like as compared to, say, we've heard from Pfizer, who is already in phase three? Yeah, the t typical phases are numbered one, two, three, four, not very imaginatively. Um, and in phase one, you're making sure that the dose uh, that you've chosen, and if you've chosen to use an adjuvant, that you're getting an immune response that you want. Um, our study was with 180 subjects, and we tested a number of different doses and, an, uh, and two different adjuvants. The phase two study, which will be starting very shortly, um, will involve uh, a larger number of individuals and um, will confirm that choice in adults and older individuals. And then the phase three study, of course, is where you have these very large numbers, 30,000 mm -hmm. people. So how, for a timeline for uh, Medicago, what would that look like into getting to that phase three part? Well, we actually hope to be done with the phase two portion uh, by the end of 2020, so by the end of uh, this year, and be in our phase three study in early January uh, in North America, um, as long as we get the continued regulatory approval, um, as well as uh, possibly countries in Europe and South America. So when we see uh, companies like Pfizer, now Moderna, expected to release some more information today in this race for the vaccine, everyone wants to know when and how effective it'll be. Does it put a bit of pressure on your company? Well, sure. Um, it puts pressure on everybody, but it's, it's of course, it's good pressure uh, because it's not so much a race as a cooperative effort. Um, even the largest companies like Pfizer um, and J&J, &J, for example, are talking about producing a billion doses of vaccine in a 12-month period. Um, since almost all of these vaccines require two doses, um, even these very large companies would only be able to protect about half a billion people um, in a year. Um, and so, in fact, we have to hope that many of these vaccines, in, including ours, we hope, um, uh, are as effective as the Pfizer vaccine appears to be. You talked a little bit about the regulatory process and what has it been like with the government and, and approvals? What has that process looked like? It's been fantastic. As when I said, a cooperative effort. It's a cooperative effort between uh, the, the academic groups, the industry, uh, people who are uh, moving these vaccines very uh, for, uh, quickly, very forward, and the regulators who have compressed their timelines remarkably. Uh, no, no safety uh, issues are being overlooked or uh, the surveillance is being skimped upon. Um, but, but in fact, everybody is moving far, quick, far more quickly than we would typically do. Indeed, this is all very promising. And as you mentioned, it, it, it's a race, but it, it's not necessarily a race. It's, you're going hand in hand in this one in that uh, we need to do this one together. Uh, we look forward to seeing the results in phase two and phase three from Medicago and appreciate your time today, Brian. Thank you. Thank you very much.